We say with the breath, it's medicine for the mind. And it's food for the mind, shelter for the mind, all the requisites you need. As for your precepts, that's clothing for the mind. John Lee likes to talk in these terms. He says, if your precepts are broken, it's like you've got a hole in your clothing. But at least you've got some clothing. Some people don't have precepts at all. But still, you want to make sure that your precepts are sound, because that forms a good foundation for your concentration. It's not the case that people without precepts can't get into concentration. They can, but the concentration doesn't lead to discernment, because it's built on a lot of self-delusion. So as you go through the day, you want to make sure that your precepts are sound. You're not harming anybody. You're not harming yourself. It's interesting that when the Buddha says harming yourself means breaking the precepts, harming other people means getting them to break the precepts. He looks at us as people who are active, not just on the receiving side of things. We're the active side of shaping our lives. So you want to shape it well. As you go through the day and observe the precepts, when the time comes to sit down and meditate, you've got nothing to look back on with any regret. And at the same time, you've been developing some good qualities, mindfulness, alertness. These are all necessary in observing the precepts, and they get strengthened as you look after your behavior all through the day. And at the same time, there's what's called the, the precepts of sense restraint. In other words, you don't look at things out, out of the power of greed, aversion, delusion. You don't listen to things out of that power. And you don't look and listen in ways that give rise to more greed, aversion, delusion in the mind. So as you go through the day protecting yourself like this, you're getting yourself exercised, getting yourself strengthened so that when the time comes to sit down and meditate or do a walking meditation, you're pretty much there. You don't have to do all the work of pulling in and pushing away. Because some of that work has been done in the course of the day. So to look after the mind, make sure it's well fed, well clothed, it's got all the medicine it needs, it's got the shelter it needs. Make sure you start with the precepts. As the Buddha said, that the dawn of the path is when the precepts are good, the sign that the path is on its way. Just like the dawn is a sign that the sun is on its way. 